What does sugar do to your body? Let's get into that. I've been talking about uh, this highdute.me. So let's get into it. I wanted to make a video about that. Uh, I've been wanting to make it. I'm not going to do a live today. I just got too much going on. It shouldn't be a very long video. Anyway, this is Ryan, High Carb Regenerator. Let's get into it. And these are just articles. There's no videos so you actually are going to have to read. But I will post this down below. Uh, the not the, I'm not, not going to post all the links. You can find whatever you want to on this website, but I will post a link to the website. So the first one I'm going to be starting off with is eating one pound of sugar daily has strikingly positive effects on male fertility. <clears throat> all right, so I'm not going to read this entire thing, but I'm, I'm going to read a little bit of it. When I saw the news article pop up in my daily feed, I immediately thought to myself, the study will never get covered by large mainstream uh, news outlets. And of course, the website CNN, Fox, ABC, blah, 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 have no trace of this article. But uh, researchers have found a study that sperm is affected by diet and the results appear rapidly. The search also gave new insights in the sperm process, which in the long term can continue to assess sperm, blah, blah, blah. Basically, what happens is they were given, well, here, here we go. During uh, the study uh, examined 15 normal non-smoking young men who followed a diet in which they were given all food from the scientists for two weeks. The diet was based on Nordic nutrition recommendation for healthy eating with one exception. During the second week, the researchers added sugar corresponding to around 3.5 liters of fizzy drinks or 450 grams of confectionery, so basically, you know, handy. The sperm quality and other indicators of the participants' health were investigated at the start of the study after the first week, blah, blah, blah. One third, uh, one third had poor sperm motility at the beginning of the test. Motility is one of the several factors influencing the quality of sperm, and the general population was proportion of people, blah, blah. The authors were uh, surprised to learn that the motility of sperm of all participants during the research had become natural. The study showed that sperm motility uh, can be changed in a short period and seems to closely couple the diet. All right, so there's that one. This one, I'm not going to read all of these things. I, I, you know, like I said, this one is actually on the front page of this because he just published this not too long ago. But drinking Pepsi Coke freely is androgenic for males, enlarges testicles, ups testosterone. So basically the exact same uh, thing that we just did there. And your body isn't going to do that if it's not healthy, right? So here's another one. Zero calorie sweeteners linked to clotting, heart attacks, and strokes. Now, that is the number one thing. Like when I go for the keto things at the grocery store, I can't even tell you how many zero calories things I get along with the pizzas and the all the other things that's labeled keto. If it has keto on it, they already add $10 to each item. Uh, it's, it's just ridiculous. You know, it's like some of these things are like $60 just for five items for this. It's ridiculous, you know what i'm seeing when I, I haven't done actually too many uh grocery shops in a while but every time i do it's keto and it's the same thing get me like four cases of zero calorie mountain dew and 15 microwave pizzas it, it's like okay no so this article is interesting and stress cortisol is a driver of hyperglycemia glycemia in type 2 diabetes so that would mean that a bee is in my basement i'll be back all right i'm back there was actually two bees down here i had to rescue them uh it's ironic that i'm talking about sugar and then there's bees down here uh, i think it happens like twice a year i have no idea where they come from maybe three but uh they were fine uh, so anyway, this basically means that sugar is the reason that you, low sugar is the reason that you got the diabetes, not anything else. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to read these articles word for word. I just really wanted to get this information out there. Hopefully somebody sees this, goes to this website and reads all these articles. There's just so many articles on here. I mean, you can see archives 2023 all the way down to 2019. 
uh, quite a bit. So anyway, check it out. I don't think he's actually added anything in April whatsoever. He might, I know he goes and does these studies and stuff, so he might be busy with that. I would like to get Georgie back on the, uh, the, uh, the you know, the channel here. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I know this is a short little video, but I figured it would get the information out there. You could go read it for yourself, not listen to me fumble over words. And that's it. Anyway, like, subscribe, <clears throat> comments, questions, all that down below. And I'll talk to you next time.